Adam Harry from Bella Souls. I have a very special guest with me today. I'm Stable Abe, and Adam, I got a question for you. What's that, Abe? What is best in life? To crush your enemies, to see them driven before you, and to hear the lamentations of the women. Mm, correct. That's right, baby. We got Conan. <laughs> Woo! Woo! I'm pretty pumped about this one. Yes. We thought about doing like the bump, 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 but we're gonna we're gonna scare skip you. that. And I, I promise I won't do too many more all impersonations. Just just like four or five. Yeah, yeah. probably. This is pretty cool looking. Uh, this is one of the new games uh, that we saw at Gen Con. Uh, we recently got a, got our hands on it, as you can see here. Uh, it's it's freaking Conan. I don't yeah, know what to tell you. So it's beautiful. the new board game, uh, 14 and up, two to five players. <laughs> let's go ahead and take a look inside. Yeah, let's figure Conan. out the riddle of steel. Dun. Oh, yeah. All right, Abe. We took the plastic wrap off already. All right. Uh, here's the front of the box. We got super awesome Conan. Yeah, I mean, this is. Pretty cool artwork. Yes. Pretty pretty classically evocative. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> oh, well, that's a heavy box. Here's the back of the box. You can see here all the stuff you're getting in here. All right. Tons of miniatures straight off mm -hmm. the bat. Uh, player cards, tiles. I mean, this this looks like a time of adventure. This looks pretty good. Yeah. So you play like a you you play a party of players that go around and hunt monsters or something. It's or? two to five players. We'll find out here. Mm -hmm. It's it's uh yeah. Obviously, you're gonna play Conan and then his crew of, of misfit buddies here. Right, there's, and, there's uh, Conan. Yeah, and then there's there's different heroes here. We'll get to them in a minute, but uh, yeah, you're gonna be fighting some big big right. craziness. So, oh, this is this is a high adventure this type, is type cool. of game. Yeah. I'm trying to take the box off here. It's from Monolith Games, by the way, Monolith. Yeah. Boom, okay, here uh, we go. That's some pretty interior. Look at the nice artwork there, too. Yeah, oh man, where do we get started? Okay. Uh, the, Obviously, this is the Overlord's book, so I'm, I'm guessing this is for like the GM. I'm not gonna, right. We're not gonna go through all that. We will show it off here in a second. And here's the. Whoa! Yeah. Eighteen and up. Hello. <laughs> uh, all right, so kids at home, sorry about that. Um, yeah. Thanks. Didn't know that was coming. Uh, we have the player cards, which can slide this off. Those are cool. It's not really any writing on them, but they got a lot of nice, like nice yeah. pictographs, sort of. That's probably yep. Conan. Yeah. Whoa! Hello. There's a. Beltic. 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 There's Shivatas. Yeah. There's Hadrathas. Hadrathas? I like Hadrathas, it. Yeah. Where's makeup? And there's some uh, there's Ooh, some French. There's some French. That's probably what that is. Okay, so there's all the basically okay. quick reference sheets. So you basically got four, English four, and French. four characters. Front and back? Yeah. Front and oh, back. Oh wow, They're, yeah. Look at the same on the front and back. Mostly? Mostly yeah. the same? There might be a different sign there. No, no, there's a no. I don't see any difference. Oh, there's a there's a slight difference in numbers, but is we'll there, figure that out. Yeah. You know, this is what happens when you open a new board game. So, yep. a bunch of new stuff. I'll put this stuff to the side oh, here. Yeah. So, uh, this is going to be all the components. Right. But for now, let's that's, go that's ahead. Pretty. I love the interior of this box. It's very got, cool these are look like probably like health and mana. Probably health and mana. I, I would, would guess. guess. Yeah. And then we have got some custom D sixes. Those are cool. Yeah, they're actually they're actually really custom. They're, yeah, they have uh, arrows and like diamonds. Diamonds and stuff. Yeah, I don't, I don't know I don't what know. that is, but that's not just a, a, you know, a replacement for a ones or whatever. Right. It looks like they're directional in some, yeah. in some case, but we'll find out. We'll find out. Uh, we have a little mini deck. Yep. Uh, this looks like items you can get. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hey, why don't you open that up yeah. and I'll keep poking around in here Ooh, while you're doing that. Big monster. Big monster. Oh, is that like Thursla Doom or something? Thursla Doom <laughs> is that his name? Thursla Doom. Thursla Doom. I hope not. Ugh. All right. turns into a big snake, right? You guys turn into a big snake a, c a couple of times. Hang yeah. on. Let me move this to the side real quick so that the camera's not picking up the crazy noises. There we go. Wow. Oh, that's really cool. I would love to see this painted up. Oh, this is like the pet snake from uh, the Snake Tower from the Conan movie. That's what uh, that could be. Yeah. They kill him and, and take him, and then later on he's like, You killed my pet. <laughs> Ooh, cry. I raised that snake from one of the... I, I ranked up... I, one of them ripped off the ranker scene, but the ranker scene ripped off it. I don't know. Yeah. Well, he, Luke didn't, like, shove the sword up his head, though. No, but the, but the guy he cries. Crush. He, he cries. He's like, oh, my pet ranker. It's very similar. Very similar. <laughs> very similar. Yeah. But at the same time, this actually looks... Uh, the the scales on here are really well done. Yeah, like, this is Lots beautiful. of detail, so... Mm -hmm. If it was a snake, it would have bit you. What's, how's, the, how's the plastic? Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Is it, uh, is it normal plastic or resin? Or? Uh, it is, it's a, it's a hard plastic, it's a hard but it's, plastic, it's got yeah. a little bit of give to it. That's a big head on it. You could drop it, it's not gonna break. So Shatter. Yeah, or shatter. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. And it's a single piece miniature. Single piece miniature would be beautiful if someone yeah. painted that up. Um, Just hints, internet, paint, yeah. paint this thing. It looks paint, awesome. Paint. You could you could scare a small child with that. Uh, 
Let's go ahead and open this thing up here. Anyone want to load us a small child? No, no, they don't. I don't. I don't want to claim responsibility. <laughs> no. Oh. oh. All right, that's everything oh, in our box even, within the box. There's even more stuff in this box. Uh, wow. Tell you what, we're gonna. I'm gonna set the miniatures to the side for now. Okay. Just because there's a ton. There's a lot Whoa. of miniatures. Don't crush the snake. Don't crush the snake. You make the guy sad. All right. So that's things there. Uh, so we got a lot of. Tokens and tiles in here. These look so. like monster cards of some yes. sort. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out and we'll kind of. So, giant snake. There's is a, that, is that the literal, giant snake? Literal is giant snake. Different, different it's got stats and everything on here. Yeah. Very cool looking. Dark. Whoa. Demon. There's the uh, captain. It's a Porvo. Yeah. That's cool. Wow. All right. And I guess that means it's dead. Oh. Dead or, injured, <laughs> or maybe? Yeah. Bleeding out, maybe? Yeah. All right. Move that to the side. We have another one, another set of. Uh, so these look like yeah. characters and pick human, pick yeah, hunters, hunters, pirates, pirates. Whoa. Um, and then some tokens and stuff. Tons of tokens. Tons of tokens. Yeah, uh, lots. Of, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and then another set. These here. look like oh wow, you can like deploy terrain. Oh yeah. Stuff, it looks like. Got some uh, barricades and walls, and I, I don't know. Those those look similar to. These little sections, the green yeah. and the red. So I don't know if those are, are something similar. We'll find out when we look to the rules, yeah. though, for sure. And these are front and back, by the way. These are front and back. They seem most of the same on both sides. It's punched out there, so I'm gonna move it again. And oh, here's the map tiles. Ooh. So this comes with, I think, like eight different scenarios you can play. Oh, cool. Oh, this is a board. Yeah, this is this just is a, a map oh, tile. This, these oh, are, so wow. Two, I think there's two two sided boards. That would make sense. Here, right? you, yeah, pull that one out. I'm gonna get this one unfurled. Whoa. Okay, so. Okay. We had we saw this one in the back. This is like the I think this is Jungle a picked village or something. Picked village. Yeah, picked village. So it's a giant, you know, I want to say like a three by three almost, or maybe uh, uh, that's pretty big. Yeah. Uh, there's four <laughs> sections here you can see, and like I said, it's pretty big. The art on this is really cool. Too. Yeah. Oh, you're actually seeing this is actually up on like a huge cliff. If oh you can wow. See over here. Like, and the ravens like way up there. A tiny little ship over here on this big cliff. So this is nice. like. And then let me flip it over. I wonder real quick. if you can jump off the cliff to the ship. Ooh. Maybe. I don't know. That's how you, that's how you escape. Or you die. die. Yeah. So this <laughs> and then is, this uh, is the inside of a building. Looks like a tavern or something. Yeah. yeah. Wow. This is actually really well really, done. Really cool. Like, I, There's I the can, entrance. Yeah. yeah. Here's uh, the thirsty dog. The thirsty dog. I could see you using this like just if you're playing D&D or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Boards this could be map. very useful for, yeah. for more than just one game system, put it that way. Those are really cool. So, yeah. wow. It's beautiful artwork. I love the artwork on this. Like, it's... There's a there's a bear skin. That's awesome. Not that it's a bear skin, but just the detail on it. This is my bear skin. skin. <laughs> Come on, the I bear. My bear skin. I choked out this bear with my hands. Uh, no more armor. Okay, so check it. That's two. That's, that's two. two. I got like three more. Yeah, you got All three right. more. All right. So that's the first one. All right. So this is the second one Abe's got. So we got all oh, this. Oh really cool, wow! Guys. You guys are in for a treat. Really cool. Let Look me move this. the box. Actually, while we're, we're Look at this. That. So this is Whoa. two ships fighting. Uh, this is probably clearly a pirate ship. Look at all those ballista on Whoa. it. Those are really cool. And they're clearly attacking the ship, and it's all shot up. It's a yeah, giant, giant ballista. Air, yeah, yeah, the, the bolt sticking bolts. out of it. Wow. So this, is, this is the state cult, I guess, right? Makes sense. Uh, maybe against the, the Bossians? Is that the other guys or something? I'm not sure. Uh, I have no idea. Well, there's a bunch of the cards where some oh, kind of true, guard true. were like Bossian card guards or something. That's true. So wow. I don't know. This, this is, this is this like is, a cool ship battle. And yeah. Then, you notice here... Each one of these sections mm -hmm. is kind of like blocked off, so you, I guess these maybe are, it's for like movement. Yeah, or... supposed to be zones. There's sharks in the water. There's a shark in the water. There's a shark in the There's water. There's another big one up there. There's several sharks in the water. Uh, it's all the blood. This, well, look at like, yeah, these, these decks are like Covered, washing yeah. blood. There's weapons everywhere. I don't know if that's painted on, like uh, uh, like if the crew painted that or that's blood. Oh, I think it's a symbol, dude. That could be a symbol. You're right. That Whoa. does look like. It's, that might be sort of like this. I don't know if you guys can make out all the. I mean, I'm gonna fold it half. This right detail now. is amazing. Yeah, I mean, these are these, ridiculous. Like, like these, that first ship. Look at that. Like the decks all like torn up. There's rats coming out of here. Is it sinking? I don't the think rats it, trying to get away because it's sinking or because I mean, it sinks. This is, this is the ship that's attacking, right? I just right. think they're running around because there's like look, bodies there's, to eat. A, a shark. shark. Look how beautiful the water looks too. That like, looks really good. Yeah, like it's this really cool. Who is really on the board? Like, yeah. Oh, there's wow. Another shark hidden over here. Yeah. Like there's, it's really beautiful, like realistic art, but but with a bit of like watercolor fantasy yeah. kind of. It's got that low low fantasy mm -hmm. 
Oh, man. man. Here we got it. Oh, oh, this is a man. ruined, a haunted ruined castle. There's like a dragon skeleton here or something, Oh, man. wow. I didn't even notice that. Like, all these bats and this, this wall is ruined. This is like several different zones. These are somehow zones that you use. Yeah, you can see where like the lines and stuff cross out. We'll figure yeah. that out in a minute with the gameplay. Spider but I mean, This is cool. Wow. Spiderweb up top there. I think this is a tumor up here, right? <laughs> it's not a tumor. Oh, that's three. three. That's three. Abe, Abe set me up. That no. set you up, yeah. Oh, uh, this this game. Yeah, looks, oh, these boards. Are these really boards. Really cool. <laughs> wow. Okay, yeah. so that's I, the I would, boards. I would totally use those for other. I would games totally. Too. I'd use them for everything. Um, okay. We got some cards here. Yeah, let's go we'll to the go cards. I'm gonna zoom in while you're uh, doing that. It's so actually two separate decks here. All right. Let me get the first one here. Yeah. So that's um, these you got like these are the thirst the thirst. Oh, the thir the, yeah. Thulsa. Thulsa doom. doom. The cult or whatever. It's two snakes yeah. coming together. Exactly. With the sun and the moon. Yeah, sorry. All right. Uh, uh, these, these are these like spells. spells. Yeah. yeah, these are spells. Pestilence Storm. These could be the uh, <clears throat> the Game Master might be there. I, know, I think probably one of the one of the heroes probably is a wizard, right? That's true. Maybe it's both. I don't know. But there's that one guy who's like wearing robes and stuff. That's true. Those are cool. Those okay. are really cool. So I like this the is back, a spell deck. Like the art of it. And then this. Snakes. Uh, this is the Riddle of Steel deck, obviously, right? Because uh, this, this is the item deck. Oh, uh, yeah, it so makes you sense. Got, you got different armors. Good. Come down here, you yeah, go. Leather armor, chain mail, scale mail, buckler. I just want to just give, give me one of these real quick. I just yeah. want to show off the detail in these cards. They look really good, too. Like, look at that. Yeah. That's an awesome looking shield. And then the, the card on the back, obviously. Wow, these look really cool. Sword. Gotta oh. have sword. Conan sword, specifically. It's the brown sword. Brown sword. So that's, that's that's pretty good. Yeah. So I guess once you've learned the riddle of steel, then you can you dominate. Can get, get things from this explosive orb. That sounds Ooh, pretty cool. Could be useful. Sorcerer's grenades. Sorcerer, yeah. Sorcerer's scepter. Gotta have those. Uh, you even got life potions. So this is all types of items. Uh, okay. Keys, Sweet. Pick this fetish. Empty chest. Empty. I kind of wanted to stop doing this video and just go play this game. Right get, yeah. This, this looks really awesome. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Put those to the side. All right. Back to the models real quick. I know you guys are stoked about this as as I am. Yeah. So, um, sorry about the noise. I know it's going to sound weird. In fact, let me just take this top one off real quick. Okay. We've got some more stuff. Oh wow! So we've These got colored stuff. bases. These are color okay. probably for different players. It looks like there's yeah, or, or four different factions or, maybe. Yeah, four or five colors here. Okay. Um, so we've only seen that there's four heroes, but there's five hero models, which is interesting. This is uh, this, this is some kind of table or trade. Yeah. Oh, so this must be where those big there's that green and oh, red yeah, thing. Yeah, they yeah. must sit in here. Uh, but then maybe models. This must be something that the game master uses. Yeah, it's probably just a, a quick reference tray, so you can have your models lined mm -hmm. up and stuff. Or maybe like something like the Deadpool, the Ready Pool, or something Is like that. Is there a game master in this? Uh, it's got to You got to have at least one. So, I think. Yeah, it's two to five players. Yeah. So, so probably some sort of game master uses. This. Yes. Oh wow. Okay, so a lot of these are repeats. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take one of each one, mm -hmm. one out, and then way we can avoid. Um, now these are all kind of just your like human. We have guys. picks and soldiers. Yeah, these are all repeat. You get a ton of them. This one, wow. These guys are, this is a different. Yeah, Some so, these, like, so these are the four These are the four unique uh, looking models for this whole tray. Mm -hmm. We've got like an archer here. We've got some infantry guys here with halberds. These are picked uh, warriors yeah. here. And then I don't know what the heck this guy is, but it's a slightly different um, resin or something. Yeah. Plastic. It's definitely plastic, but it's a exactly. slightly exactly. different one. All right, yeah. let me move these to the side. We'll take a look at these four for now. I'm going to lay them down so you guys can see them at home. What are the cards? Hand me, hand me the, the stack of cards. For the, sure. The stack of. Uh, Here are the player cards? No, the, the token deck. The, there's two stacks of tokens. I don't turn my. Here, take this real quick. Okay. And then, oh, I see what you're saying. You want to look at. Yeah, this. Figure, I'll figure out what these are. All right, Abe's looking at those. So while he's doing that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a tour of these here models. You can actually tell right from the get go that the, uh, the quality of these, of these models are really good. Wow, look at that. The the picks guy's uh, clothing, the, the furs you can see that he's wearing. It's got detail there. He's pretty ripped. I mean, this is Conan, so you got to be ripped <laughs> yeah, if you're Conan. Ripped, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that, that, those, so these, those are picked hunters. Okay, that's picked hunters. What about this dude? I think that guy is um, this Bellet's Guards. Okay. Oh, uh, that, that's the that's the sorcerer lady. Yeah, that looks maybe. That so, looks the closest. That's the only one that on, okay. on this deck that looks really close. Well, you can tell like, the else. detail on it. It's a little bit, but yeah. I mean, nothing a little warm water can't warp it back. But uh, really good detail really on this good. model, That's especially really for a single cool. piece, yeah. you know, single pose uh, a model. Looks really good. 
you can kind of see from the shadows all the different details from the, the cracks and stuff. So that's pretty cool. We have this archer guy. What's he, Gabe? Yeah, that's the Bos Bosanian? Bos Bosonian? 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 Bosonian right. archer. Ooh, he's cool looking is what he is. Yeah, so that's a very like kind of classic medieval looking art. I was gonna say he's got a bit more of a medieval vibe than some uh, of the other stuff. You can see like there's a short sword, there's a little long bow, or I don't know if it's really a long bow, it's not six feet tall, but yeah. it's a pretty good sized bow. Good size bow. Um, he looks like an English or French archer yeah. from the Middle Ages for sure. So uh, and he's wearing armor too, so uh, probably a little bit tougher to kill than the shirtless guys, unless the shirtless guys are crazy. <laughs> Uh, then we have this guy, cool looking dude with the halberd. What is he, Abe? He's the Bosonian guard. Okay. So he yeah. works together with the archers. I don't know, Conan's mostly a shirtless guy. He's That's pretty, true. He's pretty hard to kill. That's true. So. He's pretty rough. Yeah. Maybe it's like a bonus like in D&D &D, for not having armor. Yeah. On. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but anyway, this guy's armor looks pretty cool too. Like, I'd love to see these all painted up and, and done. Oh, yeah. Like a, a really good job. So that's these four models. Uh, the next set of models, let me zoom out real quick. And again, I'm trying not to do this too much because I know the plastic sounds horrible. We have a ton of different monsters and stuff here. So we've got, I'm gonna grab this wolf here. It's one unique model. Then we've got this weird troll looking thing. Oh, like a bat troll. I think that's a, that's a dark demon. Oh, and then there's this, whoa, big hairy gorilla. Okay, then we've got a demon. Man, okay, there's a ton of unique models in this yeah. set. Okay, hang on, let me just pull these all out first. I think most of these are unique here. I don't know what the heck's going on, but these models are cool. <laughs> all right, so then there's, these these guys look like pirates. Those so are pirates, just a yeah. generic pirate, all right, this one. And this top row is pretty much all uniques. Yeah. So I'm gonna pull them all out. We got Conan, we got a couple of his buddies. Um, we'll look the names up here in a second again. And then this guy, Cervantes looking dude. And then this guy it's like, looks, like, Conan? looks like a beast. All right, I'll look at that in a second. Okay, let me move these out of the way. So, you wanna start with the uh, heroes or the bad guys, Abe? Well, let's start with the heroes. Okay, move these guys down. Yeah. So these are the five, look like the five heroes, uh, as you can see here. They're a little bit lighter plastic, so I know it's a little bit harder to see on mm -hmm. camera. But let me do what we can do here. So, we start off. Uh, who should we start with, man? Let's start with the boss man himself. The boss man himself. Okay, yeah. here we go. I'm gonna move these aside real quick. Conan. Yeah. Conan. Dude. Looks... Born, born to warn the wear the troubled crown, the, the crown of Aquilonia upon a troubled brow, right? Right. Dude, he looks pretty sick. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. I mean, that's... He, it looks a lot like the the Howard art, you mm -hmm. know. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> it's just straight it's, out of the books. This is pretty classic. He's pretty got classic his, He's got his sword and his loincloth and not much else. And he's ready to kick your face yeah. in with, with everything. Yep. Uh, he's definitely more the dark haired artwork guy versus the Arnold looking dude. But right. I'm not saying Arnold didn't look like this because he <laughs> did. He was jacked. So, yeah. oh, yeah, you can kind of tell. Yep. But, it's uh, really impressive. If you uh, want to play Conan, I mean, it's funny because it's. His pose is kind of reminiscent of the barbarian pose from uh, from like old Hero Quest. It's true. Which was clearly, obviously, a ripoff of of Conan. Oh, that is also thing. true. So yeah. Okay. The circle is complete. <laughs> <laughs> Conan looks awesome. Yeah. Uh, here's uh, one of the first models. I think this is the queen. Uh, that's actually the princess. The model. princess. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, maybe it's like if you wanted to replay the Vulsa, Vulsa Doom. Yeah. Story arc, so I don't think. Maybe she's not. actually a playable character. I think okay. she's she's one of the kind of NPCs or okay. monsters almost you run into, but clearly she's important. They're trying to probably trying to rescue her or yeah. something. And actually, you know, aside from whatever tropey tropes that is, yeah. this uh, this model looks really cool. Like it's very clean lines, mm -hmm. um, pretty good detail. She's got some uh, ornamentation uh, on her hips and stuff like that. It looks like uh, yeah, um, that's really nice detail. On there. Yeah. So and then the the. The robe actually looks like it flows really well. So yeah. congratulations to whoever sculpt that because the robe came came out really well. So here's a, that's here's, cool model. Here's the card for it. They actually oh, have yeah. kind of painted up on the card. You can see Yeah, you can kind of see how this Yeah, that's actually a really go. good uh, yeah. mix match between the art and, yeah. and the That's probably the, the bad model. side of the card. You don't want that. Side, yeah. that. Did not rescue the <laughs> Did not rescue. <laughs> Your princess was in another castle? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what we told her. Right, right. She right. was in a different castle. Because we couldn't get I have no idea what happened. So this is another one of Conan's buddies. This yeah, is, uh, yeah, what's his face? Uh, this the, is, uh, this must be Shivantas. Shivantas? Yeah. Shivantas? Yeah. Shivantas? Yeah. yeah. I know I'm butchering that, but he looks pretty cool too. Um, if I wasn't playing Conan, this would probably be the guy. Yeah. I would play. He's got some sick dagger skills. Can you show you the card? Yeah. Real? That, that 
kind of his uh, that's his him work there. That's him. Yeah, kind of see there. But yeah, he looks really cool. It's a pretty good match, I think. Mm -hmm. um, Daggers, obviously, this guy's another sneaky guy. Yeah. Uh, although he's got a lot of gold chains running around, so I don't know how much noise he makes. But he's a very successfully sneaky yeah. guy. Yeah. Yeah. Gets paid that money. Yeah. He looks cool. I like this model too. Uh, he's not as uh, as built as Conan, but I, I like the the sleeker look. This is the what was her name? Bellet. Bellet. Yeah. Sorry if we butchered that again. Bellet. Uh, I think she's a sorceress of some type, or she she's has. Got, she's got to be. Some kind she's got to be. Um, scantily clad ladies mean you can't hurt them because they have magic protection or whatever. Right. <laughs> she's not wearing a ton of clothes, she's uh, like, but she's, she's got, got like a, a staff and a sword clap and like twenty coins on her. Yeah. <laughs> That's about I wouldn't. It. I don't. I don't. I wouldn't want to mess with her though. No. She doesn't look like. A friendly, friendly say. But it does have a. It's a pretty good sculpt. So it's a pretty good sculpt. Very classic kind of Conan. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like, definitely. Like, classic uh, Conan. You know, if you're playing Conan, you got to expect. A scantily clad ladies, yeah. sorry. Uh, or not sorry, whatever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and last but not least, uh, go ahead and grab his card real quick. Yeah, this is uh, Had Harathas. Had Harathas. Who's clearly, clearly a, a, a mage. Yeah, a he's, he's tossing fire out, so he's pretty cool looking. Yeah. Uh, the robe, again, hides his uh, sleep figure. Yeah. <laughs> but he's got the fireball going, he's got a staff, quarter staff going. Uh, it's a cool looking model too. So that's it for the heroes, I think. Yep. So we'll move these to the side. Next up, we have a couple of the big bads, it looks like. Yeah, those must, these are somehow important guys. These are um, some, yeah. This dude is huge. Who is this dude? He looks like that, Conan's uncle or something. So that's Cor Co Sastral Kel. Can I see his card real quick? Yeah. This guy's a beast. It's interesting that a lot of these guys have two cards, even though there's only one model for them. So I don't know if there's if there's some kind of like they can be secretly someplace or something. Oh. Uh, I'm not certain why, but uh, but he, he's massive. Yeah. So he's he's Co Sastral Kel or something. I, yeah. I'm butchering that. But he's cool. He looks a lot like kind of King Conan. Yeah, too. yeah. He's he's and just to compare like. I told you, he's like Conan's, <laughs> Conan's you know, bigger uncle here. Yeah. Like, I raised you. No, I fought you. Okay, anyway. Uh, but yeah, he's pretty cool looking. I like that model Conan, quite a bit. I am your father. <laughs> no! Okay, uh, that'd be a weird movie. Um, <laughs> do we have these two guys? Who are these two guys, Abe? Uh, this guy is just a captain. All right, just like. generic captain, yeah. dude. Probably for the pirate Probably, boats? Uh, I think actually for the, the bossy and guards. Okay, like okay, maybe? for the guards. But he looks, like, card here. he looks like he's that guy, right? Yeah. And again, great detail, yeah. uh, really well done. Um, no complaints there, so pretty cool looking. And then the, the next Captain-esque guy. That's uh, Zaporvo. 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 Zaporvo, yeah. Zaporvo. He, he, he might be. One of these guys might be a pirate. I'm not certain. Yeah. He looks like a Spanish conquistador. Yeah. So whatever they were going for, if that was a the look, they nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, pretty cool looking. That's just the back of the card. So, very cool. All right, then we have the bad guys. And we're going to kind of quick through these because I want to get to the rule book still. Mm -hmm. Burning Let's daylight go. here. Yeah. So, uh, again, this is the generic pirate dude yeah, here. Pretty cool looking. Looks like a pirate. Uh, what is this demon thing? That is an outer dark demon. Whew. So, dark, dark, demon, demon. Outer dark, dark, demon, demon. Yeah. Creepy. I mean, he looks pretty creepy. He looks like something I would not want to run into in, in yeah. even the inner guard. You no. Know, or, or like Twilight. Or with the lights on. Yeah. I'm, I'm just, good. Just ever. Just in general. I'm good. Yeah. Who is this uh, that's creepy looking dude? Zagar Shat Sag. Ooh. Uh, he, he's some sort of shaman, I think. Obviously, yeah. Mm, uh, makes probably, sense. probably a picked shaman. Picked shaman, all right. Yeah. Probably. We have a wolf. Um, hyena, maybe. I don't know. That is a Animal. hyena, yeah. It is a hyena. Hey. Good call, good call. Hey, nice. Got a better look at it. And I was like, that top fur yeah. looks like a hyena. So that's... Yeah. So they, they, hello, they're hyena. always prepared. Yep. Yeah. Be prepared, yeah. That's their motto. Yeah. Who's this big dude? That's Thak. Zach, can we see his card real quick? Yeah, let's see his card. He looks, he looks like a brute. Like, look at that guy. Whoa. He's like I a love the gorilla red, dude. Yeah, I love the red cape. Um, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. He's so the, a beast. A lot of this looks like, and some of the, I think some of the kind of the later Conan stuff, he goes down okay. to like the jungles a bunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's where you see a lot of like the kind of this Spanish dude. conquistador guy. Okay, and that makes stuff sense. Stuff like that. So some of this looks like it's drawing on, on that. That's not necessarily in the movies where you see him like running around like kind of the mainland. But yeah, that, that, this guy definitely belongs. <laughs> in some jungles <laughs> yeah. or something, yeah. Get your hands off me. All right, uh, what is that, this dude? That dude is... 
Scuthis. Scuthis. Can we grab his Scuthis. card? Wow, he's got he's crazy like skulls on the back. Skulls. Yeah. Seriously. Skulls uh, on the back, skulls in his hand. Scuthis? 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 I'm going to call him Skeletor. Skeletor, yeah, pretty he's much. Skeletor he's, he's the now. Lord of Skulls. He's, he's, he's holding sure. some skulls. He's got a lot of skulls there. And then this big beastie guy That's here. That's a dark demon. Dark so demon. Not an outer dark demon. Just a normal dark. Demon. Okay, not an outer, the inner. Yeah. The well, not the inner, just the normal. Dark. Just normal. Yeah. So just straight up, just inner, dark. outer doesn't matter. Yep. He's creepy looking. He looks like a, like a, like, like a vampire. Yeah. Uh, his face is very bat-like, but he looks like a, a vampire on roids. Yeah. Or maybe kinda, like, kinda like one of the, blood. I don't know, like a tiger's blood. Yeah, some sort of blood feral blood. vampire thing. Right. Right. And then we already checked the snake. I just want to show it off one more time. It's just a giant creepy. snake. It's got nothing cool. It's just a giant snake. It's just Nothing cool. Nothing cool. Well, that's it for the models and everything in the box. Yeah. Um, we're going to go ahead and pause real quick. I'm going to cut to the uh, the rule book and uh, the hero's book. We're going to take a look at those. All right. So this is the hero's book. Um, it There's basically two separate rule books. You've got this book and you've got the overlord book. Right. So the overlord book has all the same rules in it, but it has all the scenarios in there as well. And mm -hmm. I don't want to give those away. So I'm just going to show you guys. This is what the overlord would basically flip yeah. through. And you, you're, you're gonna have special rules for each of the scenarios. Don't wanna give anything away, but that's what this book is for. I mean, this is pretty common you see in a lot of these yeah, yeah, games yeah. where there's some sort of game master who has his own rule book that only exactly. he's reading. And this is for the players. Mm -hmm. So it's got all the same core rules in there back and yep. forth. So it's pretty simple setup. Um, this is just kind of an example of layout. Uh, in interesting note, this this thing that we looked at earlier, this yeah. big tray, this is actually called the Book of Skelos. Oh. And it's for the Overlord to keep track of everything. All the stuff down yep. here. You can see it here. You kind of see how things would typically be laid out. Um, you can have, again, it's two to five players. Um, there's four different hero models. You got Conan, uh, Bellet, uh, Shivatas, and Haradras. Had had Rathus, Rathus, rather Haradric, and then uh, the heroes are supported by six ally models. You got uh, Billet's guards and the princess. Mm. So that's what that's what those were. Those are the different colored um, plastics, the lighter right. plastics. Uh, anyway, um, you also have your dice, which are these. We'll get to these in a second. Um, playing through the game is pretty simple. This game is based off of an energy spend system, right. uh, kind of a resource generation thing. Uh, you got your three different zones. You got reserve, fatigue, and wound zone. Um, again, reserve zone. These are the ones you can spend. Uh, heroes' energies are available to, to spend, and we'll get to that in a second. Right. Those are those blue tokens we showed off earlier. Exactly. Uh, the fatigue zone. These represent the gems that come off of the hero's card back to the fatigue zone here, and then you're going to recover those based on some other stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, the wound zone. Uh, you pull stuff from the fatigue zone. That's when they uh, have taken damage and right. you've lost that. Power. So the basic flow of things is that you start with a lot of energy in here, you spend that on these actions during a turn, those go into the fatigue zone, and from the fatigue zone they can either move back into your reserve to go back here, or they can move into your wound zone. Basically. And I think actually if, if you get wounded and you haven't had anything in fatigue, sure, it, it'll just go all the way over. Go yeah. the way over so. um, um, but that's the basics of the energy, there's more to it than that, we're not getting right. into all that, but just Brief overview. And this is all your other information. So this is like your melee attack, yeah, your range, range attack, attack blocking, defense, yep, um, stealing or something. Yeah, like or your agility. Magic. Would, yeah. yeah. Um, and then you've got you know if you want a double move or anything like mm -hmm. that. And then there's some special abilities down here too. Hero actions. Um, basically, <laughs> really attacking is the key thing. There's a lot of fighting right. in this game, <laughs> uh, stealing and stuff like that. But the way the dice work is you take your your stat. Um, we'll have a have a dice to it. Well, for each uh, energy that you spend, you get that that die. So Conan mm -hmm. here, he, he's got a battle axe. If I spent one energy on that, I'd get one red melee or die to roll. Right. Those are the more deadly of the dice. So it goes from like most deadly to least deadly. Mm -hmm. So and that red can is be, that can be modified by weapons. Too. Exactly. So in this case, um, this character spent two energy to get two of the orange dice. Plus he gets a yellow die, which uh, is based off of his weapon. So then he rolls that, and for each battle axe, is one point of damage. Yeah. And you have to beat. Uh, you have to, uh, like, if somebody has one point of armor or two points of armor and one life point. In this example, you have to you have to get at least three damage to kill them. Yeah. So you've got to beat their armor to do any real damage, basically. Yeah. Um, but that's how that all works, range attacks. Uh, this is kind of cool because you can throw your weapons. <laughs> but once you do, they pretty, stay in that zone. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. 
Uh, if you watch any of the um, the new the new Conan, mm -hmm. anyway, he's constantly like swapping weapons. He has wow. no preference as to what he's killing you with. I think I think another thing that's cool they get into a little bit later, but there's kind of like an active or cautious stance you can have your character in. Yeah. So I think there's some like sneaking you do around. Oh yeah, yeah. That, that's also like kind of classic. It's very Conan, Conan. Yeah. He tries to sneak around for a little bit and then it fails generally. And, and he just and wants he kills to everything. Punch stuff. Yeah. Uh, it's manipulation. So okay. if you want to open know, boxes, open boxes. Yeah. so I think this is actually the reroll. So oh, you can spend uh, a spend a energy to reroll stuff. Um, but uh, what was the? Uh, there's extra rules in here. This is what we were talking about too. The hero's turn mm -hmm. overview. Real basic. What Abe, was, Abe and I were talking about. Just kind of a cycle without energy flows. You got the two different stances. You have got the active stance and the passive stance, or cautious stance, I should say. Yeah. And this determines how many um, energy you're going to get back. Um, so, and probably a few other things. Yeah. yeah, but it's pretty cool. Like it's a really simple action economy with the with the gems. Yeah. It's, it's not super complex. Uh, it's not supposed to be. Right. Uh, Conan's not the most complex person. Right. 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 <laughs> but that's that's pretty much it for the the combat and the the hero book. Again, I don't want to get into the uh, Overlord's book too much, but it's quite a few scenarios, mm -hmm. uh, all the different tiles and stuff like that. Uh, quite a few, I think there's at least, yeah, there's four, but they have branching effects. Yeah, there's so. more scenarios. It looks like there's maybe some some hidden movement or something. Yeah, for sure. Um, for some sneaking around. You've also got some, uh, these are basically your um, skills that you could do. Yep. And then again, we show these off, uh, but these are little cheat sheets for the characters. You can uh, see so you uh, what which you, you see these little uh, icons down here mm -hmm. all correlate to here. So you've got stuff skills. like blocking, or swimming, stuff yeah, like that. I think this is like encumbrance, how much they can carry that little weight. So yeah, yeah this is all your little skills. You can have a bunch different of different attack skills. Uh, the, the monsters also have skills. Um, you can see the monsters thing. It's kind of got some, yep. a very short version of that. And then it'll have like skills. I think that means he's a spell cat. Yeah, he's a spell cat. Spell cat, so it's spell cat. So it's a pretty cool looking yeah. uh, thing. There's um, this is entirely this is kind of cool though you got like a little world map yeah with a, with a countdown timer i think it might be something to do with the uh, game turns or something like that yeah as well for the scenario certain scenarios are probably not limited uh i'm not certain if you're supposed to like play the scenarios in an order that it's some kind of campaign or you just pick one it's a good question um uh, i didn't want to read too much into the book to spoil everything right right um but yeah i'm sure you i'm sure if it's not designed that way you could definitely play it somehow for sure um though your characters can die yeah, yeah, that is the thing. If, yeah. if a player has died, they, they're out of the game. They're out of the game, they drop so. everything. It's, it's a brutal game. Conan's yeah. brutal, right? Conan is brutal. Yeah. So, but that was pretty much it for uh, for Conan here. Again, the new box game uh, from Monolith. Uh, it is ages 14 and up. Mm -hmm. uh, parents, there there are there's some boobs. I'm not, I don't know how to say <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, um, I will say I'm slightly disappointed with this game. What? Um, there are no rules for punching camels I could find. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Well, it's a melee attack. So. I guess that's just a melee attack. There's yeah. no, nothing special about that. There is no camel model. Right, which, which really should be like a, a Kickstarter expansion Yeah, it should have something. been a bad thing. You know, if I back this... I don't know if this was yeah. Kickstarter, um, but it should be some sort of expansion. It's just the, just the camel model. Yeah. Um, so only, uh, my only real gripe is there's no camel yeah, to punch. Yeah, that's definitely. Um, but this is a beautiful game. Yeah, it looks awesome. Um, uh, 14 can... and up, two to five players. Uh, average snare is about 90 minutes. Yeah. So check that out. But let's go play. Yeah, let's go yeah. play. We're done. Bye, guys. Bye.